Good day, everyone, and welcome back to the stream. So, last time we were going to go to the Sevi Islands in Pokemon Fire Red Randomized, but then it turned out Oak wouldn't let us because we uh, didn't have enough Kanto types in our Pokedex. We actually did have, uh, I think we have like 120 or 125 entries total, but we had only 30 actual Kanto types, so we ended up not going to the Savvy Islands and instead grinding to evolve the Kanto types we did have and catching whatever Kanto uh, Pokemon we could find on the way. Uh, we ended up with 59 near the end of the last stream and I have uh, grinded up our... what's he called? Well, the point is, we have a much yoke now. <laughs> so we have 60, uh, 60 Pokemon. I've also trained the other Pokemon a bit. Let me make sure the preparing screen is out of the way first. We wouldn't want uh, to have an embarrassing situation where you can't even see the game. Hey, Invader Tech, welcome to the stream. So, I've been training our team up a bit. To get a bit closer to about a level 50 average. It's not quite up there yet, but you know, this is a lot uh, a lot more powerful than what we had. So let's go talk to Oak, and if he still won't let me go to the island now, I will be very upset. Random fanfare. And there's this guy again. Wait, eighty, but he, uh, hmm. From what I'm seeing here, it seems to be okay. So, the clue here is that we need to go to one island, apparently. So let's do that. Let's see what's awaiting us. Oh, it is 60. Okay, thank goodness. Imagine if I had to catch 20 more. It was hard enough to get the remaining 30 last stream. It was actually a much longer stream than I planned, just because I wanted to get that out of the, uh, out of the way. Maybe there is an item we need uh, 80 Pokemon caught for. Uh, we needed 50 to get the EXP share, which I also got in the meantime. So it's entirely possible. Uh... Okay, so I guess we'll need to talk to the guy who works on the machines. Hey there, Back to Murder. Welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. You got an error? Oh, it happens. I'm modifying the network machine. Alright, so a special gemstone. Um, well, I wouldn't call the current state of being alive, but not exactly dead either. <laughs> let's call let's say I'm I'm half half alive. 
Half-Life 3 confirmed. That was a terrible shoehorn joke, I apologize. That was that was barely even a pun. Half-Life 3. So, there's supposed to be a gem on this island. That should be interesting. Well, I don't know where it is, so time for me to stumble around. Oh, actually, I do know where it is. How about that? Finally remember to grab that one. Yeah, no, I'm... Uh, I'm, I had a lot of trouble actually getting stuff done today in this heat, in this heat and uh, well now because I'm streaming I need to turn the fan off so that's not great either. So it could be that I die midstream. That, that'll, that'll go on the top 10 Twitch fails if I actually die on stream. I've gotten so used to spamming the speed up button that I need to unlearn it, because, uh... We're, we should be back to the authentic Pokémon experience. If I die, dips on the- oh, Well, fine. If I die, you get my microphone. <laughs> Parasect. can always do with a bit more experience, so I don't really mind fighting the occasional Pokémon here. Especially since Kukwaus and Tak could use the extra experience. Tak has the EXP share, by the way. You hope you won't get my microphone? Why is that? All oh, right, that's a good point. Well, let's let's <laughs> ensure I don't die then. Goldeen need log. <laughs> they noticed me, but they're not actually gonna come for me. Okay. I was wondering if this would be a double battle, but I guess not. Okay, let's see how strong you are. Not very strong, honestly. Team Rocket and their birds. Hm. Man, it was so it's so uh, such a good thing that we taught Kukwau's uh, thunder. A appropriate response to losing. Huh? What? Why did you have to win? So, oh, the best part was Goldie need log, what? <laughs> Not very effective, still almost uh, dead in one hit. Oh, uh, is that gonna poison me? I guess not. Oh, that was disappointing.
Ah, uh, that's what I thought. That's why I used to uh, drill back, but maybe we should just do strength if we really want to use uh, cool clothes. But anyway, yeah, so... Uh, last week I mentioned that my work situation might change a little bit, but, uh, well... Be it fortunate or unfortunate, it hasn't really changed all that much. It's kind of a weird week, honestly. Right, we're prepared for this. And down it goes. I gotta say though, these are post uh, Elite Four trainers. Why are they so low level? Like I understand if they weren't completely on the level of the Elite Four, but this is like 20 levels below that. Crazy. Well, not that I'm complaining, because it means I win. Uh, no, the island is available starting then, but these trainers aren't. Uh, I, I remember walking up to them, but they only got through the wall after I got permission from Oak to... Uh, after I got the national de- uh, while talking. The national tax from Oak. At least I think, unless there's something I'm missing. Maybe I could have gone here if I had 60 types caught, but not cleared the Elite Four yet. <laughs> Develop amnesia conveniently and forget everything you heard. Walks in there immediately. Oh, almost did it again. No speeding. Speeding bad. Oh, hey. Salamence. Volt tackle hurts me, but at least it's more accurate. Salamence is pretty cool. We should be running into several new Pokémon here. In theory, anyway. Oh! I just do it instinctively now. I was uh, grinding a lot. So, I w so now I'm uh, constantly going for the space bar, and by that I mean the speed up button on my legitimate Game Boy. Ooh, they almost got me there. They almost got me. They almost fooled me. I was almost japed there. Oh hey, we already have one of these though. I think we e I recall that we called it Gutsman. I wonder if this will be strong enough. Yeah, it will. There we go, Kukuwa is up to level 48. And there we go. Although he really should unlearn uh, strength and learn something way better. Oh. Speaking of thunder, the weather is a bit scary outside now. As it always is after longer periods of uh, heat and sunshine. 
the pressure builds up. Hey, it's Aaron. Rock tomb, huh? You're also very scared after a longer period of heat. Ha! <laughs> Only regular stream watchers will get this joke. Well, what kind of voice was that? I watch a lot of streamers that kind of start to do impromptu voice acting. And it, uh, as a result, I have a tendency to do the same thing, but I'm not actually, bu ugh, I'm not actually much of a voice actor. I can barely talk normally. <laughs> Huh. Maybe we should switch types. Yeah, we're going to the Savvy Islands on this stream for sure. At least we should... Uh, I would like to at least have reached Island 4 by the end of it. But there's no guarantee we're actually going to finish all there is to do there. On this stream. I don't know how long it is after all. Jump kick. Weird. Yeah. We shouldn't have Kukwaus out, out for uh, for these steel types anyway. Please ignore the uh, loud talking in the background. Yeah, this is a far better match. It would be nice if we could uh, get everyone up to level 50 at least. Hmm. The path branches, where to go next? All oh, right, it's Braille. Oh, here's the, here is the rock, apparently. Let's uh, make a quick save, and I mean uh, an actual quick save, not a legitimate Game Boy safe state. And there we go. We have acquired the ruby. There's probably really good lore in here, but... I'm not gonna spend the time to interpret it right now. And also, why Braille? That's kinda weird. It's cool, but weird. Alright, there are the path. These encounters, man. They're not even high level enough to bother, though. There's a uh, Mawile. Huh. For a second I thought, what a cool way to give the blind players something extra. Then I was like, no, wait, yeah. <laughs> 
Reminds me of like a, a sign on a on a fire door that has in Braille, uh, "Don't touch the door." It's like, yeah, okay, thanks. Very helpful. Oh. I might do a little speeding, since we're actually still in familiar territory right now. And you don't want to see me encounter the same Pokémon again and again. I actually think, though, that a... Uh, that a way to let blind players read... Like, have a screen that can actively change... Uh, how do I put this? That can actually make Braille on its surface by having indentations and whatever. Okay, I think I am doing this wrong. Okay, I'm starting to get a basic idea of this. It's frustrating that you have to walk back though. Ah, right, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire have Braille puzzles as, puzzles as well. Cool. Since we actually got the Ruby from here, I wonder if they actually based this on their future plans. I mean, isn't isn't the legendary theme uh, actually the trainer battle theme from Ruby and Sapphire? That's what I thought, anyway. Anyway, gosh darn, it sure is very hot. Oh, of course. Why am I making this more difficult than it is? S Steelix's fa face, that's the viewers right now. <laughs> Looking at me trying to figure out this puzzle. Ruby Sapphire, then Fire Red Leaf Green, then Emerald. Right, that makes sense. Hey, level 48 for tech. Do you hear that? The thundering? Between the temperature and the thunderstorm, this may not be a long stream. I actually was hoping to really delve into the Savvy Islands this time, but... With a thunderstorm out there, we gotta be... Uh, we can't be too careful. But I wanna at least get to Island 4, like I said. Or 4 Island, if the naming convention stays the same. Yeah, I had completely forgotten which came first, Ruby and Sapphire or Fire Red and Leaf Green. I knew they were around at the same time, but... Alright, let's get our Pokémon healed up. Wait a minute. Oh, right, that's a Pokédex. Not only did I go in the wrong building, I was about to say that's a Pokédex when I when I was supposed to say that's a Pokémon Center. <laughs> this is the biggest Pokédex you've ever seen. You can walk right in it. It's bigger on the inside. All right, we got your Ruby, buddy boy. A notification. H to the ML. H to the TML. That's a good name. Is now following. Thank you for the follow. H to the M. TML. <laughs> well, I can't talk, but that's a good username. Thanks for the follow.
Alright, that means we can now go to the other islands. And then OBS died. Of course. Of course. Alright, are we back on the air? We should be, but man, I hate that so much because, you know, anyone who casually stops in will just leave if the, uh, if the connection drops like that. It's such a shame because it, well, last stream it was perfect. Ah, well, we should be back now. Oh, I don't even know what I clicked. Okay, four island. I'm back. Okay, thanks. He's smelling ya. He's such a nice guy. I know this theme. Isn't this in, uh, from Pokemon Gold and Silver? We're back online, right? It's really going haywire today, gosh darn. Okay, I, I, th I thought so. I thought it was from Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal. It's a good theme. keeps doing that we'll have to uh, call it done I wonder if sometimes I wonder if the heat and stuff also has an impact on our modem it probably wouldn't if I just had that darn wire installed already but you know communication problems I won't get into I collected a ton of stickers What are you going to brag about today? Wow, this guy. He asks me to brag about stuff and then he calls me a braggart. Oh, Lorelei is from here. That's neato. Stuffed dolls. That's a frightening habit for someone who deals with ghosts. Yeah, it could be the thunderstorm, definitely, but... Well, we've had unstable nights without thunderstorms as well, so I don't want to assume too much. Hello, H to the TML. I said it right immediately that time. 
Um, how do we look at the... Oh, the Pokedex, right? How do you... How do you see the sticker? Um, which is it? Is it on here? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> yeah, just staring in silent confusion. I'm sorry. I'm not the brightest on the best of days, and today is a very hot day. <laughs> Chilly and tasty. We should be running into, if this were the base game, there would be Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon here. But now there will probably just be Kanto Pokemon instead. I just want to explore the town for a bit before I move on ahead. Look, identical twins. They're just body slamming each other. Very good. It's a great way to spend the days. Alright, let's move on. Icefall Cave. That would be more appropriate for the boying, yeah. Huh. Magnemite. This was complete overkill to use Sacred Fire there. I should have just done Flamethrower, but... I just really wanted to destroy a Magnemite right there. Corsola. And it's quite high level, too. I think we've just found a good place to grind now. Haha. Uh -huh. confused, but it still came through. That is surprisingly little experience, considering the uh, the level of the Pokémon. I guess the type also matters. The the species. Volbeat, huh? Interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen this one. For context, I kind of stepped out of the whole Pokemon deal after Gen 2, and I'm only just getting <laughs> back to it, so there's a lot of Pokemon I don't actually know about. Ah, nice, an Ultra Ball. Well, 
Oh, this is a very inappropriate Pokemon for this area. Just do flamethrower. <laughs> Don't be tempted. I just love that sacred fire. It's so sacred. So far, we aren't running into many types we haven't seen uh, in other areas before. But there's still plenty of time. Ah, it's one of these places. We're here from Discord, I see. Well, thanks for visiting the stream. Ah, let's see here. really know where to go but never melt ice that's good for an ice type Pokemon to have right I've been told it never melts Giraffe rig again, huh? It has teleport in this randomizer, so we should. Uh, if I can, uh, if I can KO it in one hit, it's fine to fight it. But otherwise, it's a waste. Full restore is very good. Ah, HMO7, Waterfall. Alright, so those holes are all pointless, basically. doing that gosh darn uh, so maybe I need to take a step back and use waterfall somewhere well hey it took a while before that encounter happened so I guess I can't complain too much we've had some crazy areas in terms of Pokemon encounters we uh, kept running into Mewtwo's and Latias and Latios in Victory Road. Main problem being those are kind of hard to run away from. Hmm. Could I go up this waterfall using Waterfall? Waterfall is an HM I'm not too familiar with. That makes sense. I mean, why else would there be a big waterfall right there? Uh huh. I think we can safely get rid of uh, Whirlpool, right? Uh, 
I mean, it's kind of nice to have Blizzard. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of Whirlpool for now. I know it's, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of obvious when you think about it. It's called Waterfall. There's a big waterfall right here, it says so in this d description. Slowly climb that waterfall. Very good. Yeah, we might even have to give Never Melt Ice to finally. It only really benefits Blizzard, but that's the only ice type we move uh, move we have anyway. So, might as well give it for now. <laughs> Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Who says we can do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? Look at that face. That is the face of despair. Let's uh, let's send out finally. Finally is kind of over leveled compared to the rest, but. To be honest, he's just the best match for this, uh, this type. And down it goes. Another one, okay then. And finally, Hound Doom. Very scary. Very good, level 55 already. What a powerhouse. So despicably weak. <laughs> I like Lorelei. Takes no sass from no one. have to do something about that so this starts up in there goes OBS again okay that was a brief drop but we should be fine now we could uh, briefly check out this water before we move on to five island See if there's anything good in here. Oh, hey, Haunter! Why is one of his hands uh, uh, got an additional red line?
Is that all there is here? Just haunters? Or can we expect a few more types? Oh, hey, Miss Dreyfus. Well, this is only a level 5, so it's not very useful to us, but... Miss Dreyfus is one of my favorite Pokémon, design-wise. Uh, design so friggin' cute. Unaffected. Hey, Alden, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. Let's see if we can catch this one real quick. What I think is so nice, I just think he's adorable. It's adorable, basically. <laughs> There's not really uh, much of a uh, much thought put into that. I just like the look of it. It's like a little ghost with the hair and the necklace and the big eyes. It's adorable. But you know what? Never mind. We can always catch it. I'm gonna waste Ultra Balls on this level 5 uh, runt. Oh, look! Caterpie! We've been looking for this one. <laughs> no. I appreciate people sticking around even though the uh, connection is a bit unstable today. It's, uh, it's not one of the best days for this connection, unfortunately. But, we'll get through it. We may have to finish things up on the islands in another stream, though. Gosh, that's a good question. The honest answer is I'm I don't really know. There's a lot of uh, how shall I call it administrative stuff going on uh, around here. <laughs> uh, my older brother might be moving out in the nearby future. Um, I should be careful about sharing too much personal information. This is a public Twitch stream after all, but. Basically, everyone is arranging their own things, and I need some cooperation from different people to get this all in place. Everyone is uh, kind of busy with stuff. I can't just hire a guy to start drilling holes in a house shared by many people. You know how it is. We already talked to him, but that name makes me laugh every time. So, can we go to Island 5 now? This one was pretty small. Oh, we can just go to any island we like at this point, okay? Very good, very good. So, Team Rocket is holed up here, huh? You you know when someone, when you enter a house and someone is standing in a corner like that, faced away from you, move, and perfectly still? Basically, in, if you're in a horror movie, you just need to turn around and walk away. Because, <laughs> uh... 
a scare is waiting for you, but I'm guessing there's no scare here. Yeah, you're not scary. But that is a horror trope. And it's one of those tropes that gets better with age, I think, because you're aware of it, so you see someone turn away and you immediately start to tense up. <laughs> it's been three years since you went fishing. <laughs> wow. I should have had a giant mansion built on it. Right, we should go to the meadow. I just wanted to have a quick look at what's, uh, what was on offer here. We don't have anyone who can use cut. Ah oh, well. What kind of wild Pokemon are here? Come on. Now that I want an encounter, you're not gonna give me one? Come on. <laughs> Oh, Spinarak. Pretty high level, but otherwise we already have it. Hmm. We should put someone in front who actually needs the experience, though. I only switched to Q600 because we were running into so many steel types. Steel type is awkward to deal with. Right, so Team Rocket is here, as we knew. So we'll have to fight some trainers. I'm actually really happy because that means we get money. Ah, should have stuck with uh, Q600. That background though. Come on. Can't you land a single attack? It missed three times in a row. Even with my. Yeah. I'm confused too. I'm confused too. There we go. Should have just started with that, but... There we go. Burn them all. And there we have Fortress. I think that was worth a Sacred Fire. <laughs> Is this for real? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. I always thought Fortress was pretty cool. Yeah, it is! You'd be wasting time even if you were to get by me. <laughs> Overflowing with self-confidence. It just barely survives. Could have used that crit last turn, but oh well.
I really like the idea of a monster with eyes made of gemstones. It's cool. Stabilize your favorite Pokemon? I see, it does have a very cool design. I tend to gravitate more towards cuter Pokemon myself, but... Well, I guess you could call it cute, it has big eyes. Murkrow. Honchkrow is funny. All funny, that's one way to describe it. Brutal, savage, wrecked, absolutely taken down. It had no weakness, I see. <laughs> it's interesting how stuff like that changes over time, huh? Psychic and Dragon type used to be ridiculously overpowered in Gen 1. Potions? We have a full restore, but... Is the block champ not working? There we go. It works. You just need to capitalize both words. But me, I prefer... This one. <laughs> Right, only full restore, so we'll have to make do. Smooch him. Uh, no, I haven't made it shrug yet, sorry. <laughs> I should, though. Funnily enough, this is actually an appropriate Pokémon to have, because they, they uh, were supposedly poaching Lepreses on the other island. So we need to find another password, which we may find on the other islands. Interesting. Oh, that's fine. We've already defeated all these trainers, so getting back here won't be an issue. But... The animation itself still exists. Even if it doesn't shrug. It still stares at you in a creepy way. But the, uh, the subscribe and follow notifications wave at you. So that's animation. <laughs> I 
All right, let's try Six Island. Another Gen 2 song, I think. From what I'm hearing, this is one of the larger islands then. It even has its own Mark II. I don't know, I kind of like islands that are more relaxed and reclusive, but also I would like some Wi-Fi. <laughs> so that's the uh, the everlasting conflict. Uh, islands that aren't particularly uh, populated don't tend to have that. So if you wanted animations, you could always subscribe. <laughs> Does this guy want to pick a fight? I'm practicing in secret so no one can see me. Good job. Your bright yellow haircut is really subtle. Oh, it's green even. Juggler Edward. Farm the league for money. Yeah, that's uh, a good idea. Pikachu. Well, let's get back to climbing here for <laughs> for a bit. Oh, great. I do not know what Pokemon that is, and now let's get Tech in the spotlight for a bit. He's still our starter after all. Oh, I do know that one. But I know it more by how it looks than what it does. Looks like an electric type though, based on what I'm seeing here. Another one, huh? I don't mind at all. Nice, the big 50. Now we need to go back to heal because of that paralysis. What a pain. Oh, hey. <laughs> There was no point to that interaction besides for him to be smug. Well, I guess the, the, the point is that you may need to trade certain Pokémon to get them. Oh, 
Alright, it's called the Water Path, most likely because we need to... ...surf here. Oh hey, there's this... thing. Not high level enough to waste a thunder on. Actually, now that we have tack up to level 50, let's uh, get that exp EXP share on uh, someone. Oh, the path goes on here. Oh, hey! Seeking! I wonder if we could try to catch this guy. I mean, we don't have a Seeking, so... Okay, excellent. Gives us a viable water Pokemon to use if we ever get rid of finally, which we won't, so it's pointless, but still. Oh hey there, random hiker man. <laughs> Where are the mountains? Aren't you at the foot of one right now, buddy? Hiker Earl. Earl Grey. Looks like uh, we're just gonna have to bring out Q600 for this one. Another one. I think we've got a lot of uh, repeat Pokemon because I tried to simultaneously randomize the Pokemon but then force consistent types and moves. So next time we do a randomizer, which is hopefully in the nearby future, we should either... we should probably go way more crazy with it. Just completely nutso. Ruin Valley. There's Hitmonchan, but we already have that. Can just walk around this whole thing. Kind of uh, pointless to fight uh, level 15 Pokemon though. Polyworld. Oh, that's perfect. Let's 
Lay the smack down with thunder. Wonder what item that is. Full restore, very good. The more recovery items, the better, I say. But this was just a secret, it seems. Let's, uh. Hmm. <laughs> that pose makes me laugh every time. Oh hey, Tyrogue. Come on now. Oh hey, Combuscan. And down it goes. <laughs> Kukwaus is a beast. A legendary beast. HP up, very good. We should distribute more of those uh, permanent upgrades to our Pokemon if we can. Oh hey, Balloon. But not high level enough to be uh, worth bothering with. The level variation is quite high here. Level 15 and level around 50. Hector. There we go. As long as it hits, it always does what you need. Altaria, well, there goes the connection again. Very frustrating. It seems to have recovered pretty quickly, but... Okay, it landed. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, nice. And back to Clive is on is uh, level fifty now. There's Tyrogue again. Look at this dude. <laughs> Ruin Maniac. Maniac. Ruin Maniac. Indeed.
I assume the archaeologist. <clears throat> wow, my voice. I assume the archaeologist guys would usually have uh, ground type Pokemon. There we go. I could have gone for Thunder, and that would have... Oh. I didn't expect the recoil to be that bad, to be honest. I thought I was making the safe choice, because the accuracy on Vault Tackle is better, but... Apparently that was not the safe choice at all. He just turns away. I've compelled you to come here. I like how he's looking. He's posing like he's looking at the rock, but he's looking at you. He's like, I gotta be. I gotta be prepared when they take a photo of me for National Geographic. I would love to be on the cover of that magazine. I. I once again, I have no idea what that voice was supposed to be. <laughs> Is, is that what archaeologists sound like? Good heavens. Yeah, yeah, blame it on your instincts. Mysterious stones. Larry. All right. Ice bug gets stronger as they use it more, right? We need to get rid of the... And we need to get rid of this one quickly. Schneezel. That's what you get for touching. All right, there's some sort of door here. Oh, hey, mighty Yina. Hmm. Uh, I'll just secretly look up Braille on Google. <laughs> Just 
just a second. Okay, let's see. See you. See you later. Oh, cut. Um, interesting, but So do we just use cut on this door? Is that how it works? I don't really have a Pokemon I want to teach you to though. Okay, let's regroup at the Pokemon Center for a bit. you for just a second nothing permanent so don't worry I just need something that can uh, learn cut for a bit well that was a waste Mankey can't even learn it. I mean, this one has to be able to learn it, right? Let's look at those. Sword like arms. Ah, that was not my intention. I actually wanted to do growl, but misclicked. Not that it matters because we're not going to use Scyther anyway. <laughs> but that would be really awkward if that was an important Pokemon to us. Okay, let's get back there. Hey, Quillfish. Man, that recoil is bad. Like, it's so bad that move is barely even viable anymore. Oh, hey! Swampert. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Well, he blew me away, literally.
I know I said we're gonna do the authentic Pokemon experience, but I'm just trying to uh, get back to where we were. Sunstone, very good. Another item acquired. Why waste thunder if you can do drill back as well? <laughs> Oh, it didn't didn't quite work that time. Come on now, let's get back to that door. There, that's what's supposed to happen when we use drill back. <laughs> Hey, a manky. Interesting. And there we go. Kuklaus is level 50 as well. What a powerful team we have. hole. Okay then. I was gonna stop there, but now we can't stop, can we? Um. Let me just check what that means. This could be down or left, but it can't be up and right due to the length, so... Left, it's clearly left. Can only be right. And this one is down. Okay, nice. Yep, Ruby and Sapphire. Oh. Yes, not nah, Chensi. Okay, sounds like a legit password. Don't think badly of me. Still steals the sapphire. What a jerk! 
Anyway, now we have the password to get into the warehouse. And let's withdraw back to Clive. Very good. Okay, back to Five Island. Island number five. Everybody on the sea gallop, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm gonna do a reference to a song, I need to commit and actually sing it, but... I mean, singing live on stream? It's terrifying. Alright, we're going up to the rocket hideout and then we're probably gonna stop because I'm uh, dying over here. Well, it's not that serious, but I am pretty, uh, pretty tired and there are also apparently heated discussions going on in one of my project groups. Oh, hey, Pinsir! Fancy meeting you here. Come on. Drill pack would be uh, the favorable choice if I wanted to actually kill it, but I don't. I'm thinking about catching this one. Arm thrust. You wanna stop doing that? Interesting. Okay, it's asleep. Well, at least we haven't had much trouble catching Pokémon on this stream, that's good. It's too long, pincer horns are powerful. Once they grip an enemy, they won't release until the foe is torn. Yikes. Terrifying. Very spooky. Come on. Minkata, we don't need you here. That experience point counted though. Rocket Warehouse. Okay, but that's um, this is something we're gonna do next time. So, I hope you guys will join me on Thursday when we tackle the randomized version of the, uh, the Rocket Warehouse. 
I am curious to see what it'll be. So, thanks to everyone for visiting the stream. Thanks, of course, to uh, to Invader Tech, to Back to Murder, to Alden, uh, to H to the TML, who is also our new follower. Thank you very much. It's uh, it's very nice of you to stop by. So, I hope you guys will join me on Thursday. Uh, for the next stream. I'm not sure if it will be the finale. I don't know how long this Savvy Islands quest is But if it is we'll have to start thinking seriously about what's next But that's all a matter for uh, for Thursday. So until then have a great day or night, and I will see you later. Bye. Bye